Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you are all okay and you had a good weekend and that the wind is not too windy near you because near us it's a bit scary. It's all right right now, but last night was awful. Um, <laughs> I've got a bit of a yarn hole. Whoops! <laughs> so... I have scissors. I wanted to open it on camera, which is why I'm doing it now. Um, we've just had dinner and Kirk's gone for a little nanny nap. Uh, we went shopping straight from him finishing work and came in and had some dinner. And he's like, I'm just going to go upstairs for a bit and have a fly down. I was like, okay, I'll film a video. Um, but I wanted to open this with you. I do know what I've got and it's not, I think it's exciting, but it's nothing, it's just style craft. Um, so it's exciting, but it's not anything wacky that no one's ever seen before. Um, but on Friday, for anyone that follows me on Instagram, you may already know this, uh, Kirk and I were playing Scrabble and, um, he bet, we put a bit of a bet on it. And if I won, I won yarn and I won. Um, so we know how, sorry, I'm wafting scissors at you. We know how to have a wild weekend. Um, but... I did buy some of this myself as well. While I was putting the order in, I, I bought some of it and Kirk bought some of it. So I didn't make him buy all of it. Um, but I am wanting to make myself... Everyone's, I feel like everyone's just going to just show us the yarn. I am wanting to make myself some sort of garment. I'm thinking one of the cardigans that's two... Is it two hexagons? That you sort of like tie together somehow. Um, I am making... I'll show you in another video. I'm making a shawl and I'm making a movie night. I think it's the movie night cocoon. Uh, Denise has made a red one and Kim's just made one for Tobin and now I think she's making one for Jack. Um, and I'm just doing a plain grey one. But I, I, want a, I want a lot of things. So I bought some yarn for it. Don't need to explain a lot. It comes in a love. This is all from Love Crochet. Um, it was 185 ball for Stylecraft. If you spent over a certain amount, you got a free delivery. Can't remember what the amount was. Twenty-five pound. If you spent over twenty-five pound, you got free delivery. And if you signed up to the newsletter, they sent you a code, and you got fifteen percent off. And then I've shared a code on Instagram. That will get you 15% off by typing that in. I don't think you can use the two together, but if you've already bought from, <coughs> like if you've already used the, I think it was Get Hooked. Um, and simply, uh, is it simply crochet or no? Is that the magazine? I love crochet or I heart crochet. And then there's a knitting one as well. What is it called? I've not even got the thing. I bet it will tell me in the bag. Let's open the bag. Um, yeah, so, if you're in the market, ooh, oh, it comes in little bags, oh, I did think it looked a bit like a dead body, um, it comes in little bags, that's so cute, oh, it comes in four little bags, because I bought that much. There we go. And this I'm going to save and use to send back the blanket that I've made for woolly hugs because I've still not done that yet. I'm waiting to get paid. I'll read that in a bit. I don't know what that is. Some sort of leaflet. It was from Love Crochet. I'll just show you that that bit. They had um So it's fam. Love crochet. They had um, paint box yarns on there as well. They were one ninety nine each. But I wanted Stylecraft. So because there, there's four bags, I don't know. I think I got two of everything. So I might be repeating. I can see 
Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just go through it. So this is shade 1188 in lavender. These are all Stylecraft Special DK, double knit. I shall tell you only once you get 100% premium acrylic, 295 metres, 322 yards. And this is the shade lavender, which is nice. There is a theme with the colours, I'm afraid. So I have that. And I do have another one somewhere. Uh, this is shade storm blue. One. 722 this is the shade Emperor and that is 1425 oh, I'm sat against a window so it's gonna blow out a little bit don't matter does it you know you know it's called Emperor the mm, that's probably more the color if I hold it back here if I put it there it makes it look lighter those ones. The thing with Stylecraft is, I think we all know what they look like. Um, I have two of these. I have two of everything, but it's just a matter of them not being together. Uh, this is 1724 in Palmer Violet. Very dust, dusty lilac colour. I like doing this for comparison. I think I did this when I bought Marini yarn. Uh, <coughs> Palm of Violet, and then I think this is the other Emperor. Yeah, it's probably Cadbury Purple. If I was going to say anything, I'd say that was the Cadbury Purple. <laughs> Look how cute the little bags are. Uh, this is Magenta. I'm trying to think, I think this looks more pink on screen than it does in real life. Well, probably not any more pink, but it's not quite as bright. Like this area is probably about right. Not all this bright pink. Don't need to over explain, do I? Uh, Bluebell. I've always wanted this shade. I don't know why. It just speaks to me. I don't need the colours to be perfect, do I? Let's not worry, Ruth. What's this one? This is Violet. That is one, two, seven, seven. Did I tell you this one? Bluebell was one oh eight two. Um, where's my lavender? There is a difference between the lavender and the violet. Not much, but never mind. And what's this one? This is another violet. So I have two of those at last. And this one looks greener, I think. This is Aspen in the shade 1422, which it looks a little, it looks more blue online and less green, but it's okay. I'll still, I'll still use it. It does look quite nice with all the things together. Uh, this is Wisteria, which is different to Lavender, and what was the other one? Yeah, Violet, there we go. They are different, only just. I did, I did know that they were only just different. This is why I didn't want to buy, this is another Lavender, Wisteria, Lavender. Um, I didn't want to buy, like, six balls of one yarn to make a cardigan because I get bored with one colour which I think we all know um, and I did want something a bit groovier but I didn't want it to like not I didn't want it to look like too wacky so I thought if I pick a colour palette um, and I didn't really they didn't have they had a lot of ones a lot of yarn colours out of stock not a lot they didn't, but they had a few out of stock, like the pink shades that I might have wanted. So I went to purples. Uh, this is teal. I have two teal. And that is shade 1062. I don't know if I'm even actually showing you this or... 
think that one's blowing out as well. Why do some of the labels? I don't know, maybe they're all blowing out and I'm just not noticing. This is, yeah, uh, six two. Oh no, that's <laughs> not, that's the dye lot. 1825, uh, and this is Lobelia, which is not, not, this is showing up more of a royal blue on my screen, but it is, it's not that dark. It's probably got a bit of, a little bit of purple in it. That's the Emperor. Yeah, it's making it look really blue. That's probably got that's sort of bluish. No, it's not quite that colour in real life. And then this is another blue bell, which is lighter in real life. This is fun, isn't it? I'm going, here's some warm. It doesn't really look like that. <laughs> I can't believe this is 11 minutes already. I thought this would be dead quick. This is another magenta. Pretty, pretty. So I've got two of those now. Uh, this is another wisteria, which is a lovely colour. I really like this one. And this is petrol, which is different to teal, which is different to aspen. Gone like bluish. And this is lobelia. So they're like the blues. I have another one of those. Oh, that's another storm blue. And this is another petrol. So they look nice together. And then, last but not least, I have two of shade 1390. There it is, which is Clematis. So, which looks nice with that one, I think. Uh, yeah, so, <laughs> shall I show you my pile of wool? I'm sat near the radiator because this is where the window is. It's my pile of wool. Um, don't know how many balls it was. So I have, oh God, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six. I have twenty-six balls of yarn. I have no idea where I'm going to put them. I went completely overboard. And uh, there's a date here if anyone wants to. It's uh, I believe that only one person can use this, so see if it works. I shan't be shopping before the 30th of April 2019. So you can use that if you want 10% off. I presume just the first person who should use it will get it off. And then after that, it won't be valid. I would imagine. So hopefully you've got that if you might be shopping on there. I don't know if you'll be able to use that with anything else. But I'm just giving you out all the codes that I've got, people. <laughs> yeah, I think on Love Knitting, there was a different sign up code so if you've already bought from love crochet and had their 15 their i think it was 15 percent off i got doesn't tell me doesn't say anywhere yeah i think i got 15 percent off um sorry yeah and i use love crochet but I did look on Love Knitting first and I just, I don't know why I I was using one and then I just put another. Um, I think I just got confused. It wasn't anything to do with the website. Um, but if you bought on Love Crochet before, if you sign up to Love Knitting, I think you'll still get, it's a different, it was a different code for the sign up letter. So, you know, not that I'm trying to enable anyone. And you get all these little cute bags, look. Oh, they make me happy. <laughs> Simple things, but all this yarn, but it's the little bags that make me happy. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is clearly too much for a cardigan. I can see that now. Um, should I try and hold one of each? It's going to be impossible, 13, isn't it? No, it's just not going to happen. No, 
But I was just thinking if I sort of get like a selection of purples and pinks and blues, they're like, look how lovely they all look together. And then you can get rid of that one and put that one in. I just think they all look really nice. And I've got a variety of light and dark. So maybe I can do something that's stripey or I can do the hexagon one. I don't know. I just wanted to buy all the wool. But I was fairly sensible. I'm, I'm, I don't think I want to keep buying variegated. As much as I love it, it just doesn't... What can you do with it? I don't know. But then I love using it. I don't know. Um, but since what the reason all of this has come about, I don't... Since I don't know if I mentioned it before or not. Because I forget what I filmed and what I've... I recorded a video the other day, half a video, and then got a phone call, which wasn't a very nice phone call. Not a, It wasn't a bad one, but it wasn't a very nice phone call. And then the the mood changed and I didn't can't continue to film. So I'm like, I can't remember what I, if I, I've said it on that and it's not gone up. But I watched Denise's live stream the other week um, and she encouraged me to make a garment makes me that I really want don't keep making things thinking oh so and so can have this so and so can have that and I really like I've thought about it since then like I don't I don't think I don't think that I like I do things for my, myself and maybe I should um so this is very indulgent and Kirk Kirk enabled me himself so I don't feel too bad but just look so pretty um and then whatever is left over will go with all the yarn that I've got. I just didn't want to buy like 16 of this colour and make a jumper and that be it. And just have a pink jumper. I wanted something, I don't know. So I can make something simple but it's still exciting because I've got loads of colour. I don't know, I just wanted to buy all the colours. I don't have to justify myself, I'm, I know that. Um, but I'm going to go anyway because I really am rambling on. This is meant to be a dead quick video and it's 17 minutes of me holding up pretty wall um so thank you all for watching i will be back during the week um i have a few things that i've been working on to show you and hopefully i'll start something with some of this somehow pretty wall look uh yeah so thank you all for watching I'm trying to squish it all <laughs> that's my scarf do you like my scarf it's got chihuahuas on it right I'm going to go. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all very soon. I hope you have a good week. And I hope Monday was very kind to you. Um, thanks for watching. Give me a like if you liked it. Tell me what wool you've been buying. So I don't feel quite so greedy. <laughs> I'm going to go. Ooh, thanks for watching. Bye.